Welcome to Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host from Vision 33. Today, our uh, special topic will be what's new in SAP Business One. We're going to be taking a look at version 10 of SAP Business One, newly released patch level two, and looking at the web client. Uh, so there's been a few small little additions to it between patch level one and patch level two, kind of an ongoing journey for the version 10 release of the full web client, as we'll probably see that uh, in more full release by the time we get to version 10.1. So uh, before we do that today, just a few announcements for you. First off, uh, as always, I remind you of the new Customer Resource Center, and I did place a link in the chat box for the Customer Resource Center, just so you have that. You see it here on the screen, but it's there in the chat for you to copy and uh, paste into your system someplace to have a quick link to it. So what's new with version 10? Over the next few weeks, we'll be taking a look at version 10 and just reviewing all of the new features and benefits that have been released in version 10. And uh, most of these features and benefits are available in both Microsoft SQL uh, databases and SAP HANA database customers. So um, it won't really matter for you. Even this web client is available for both SQL and HANA customers. The uh, Currently, the web client is, of course, integrated to uh, in 10.0 on the HANA database through the service layer. Uh, but on the SQL side, it is simply a DI API integration. But as you may have heard, in later versions of 10.0, there will be a service layer released, service layer released for SQL customers as well. So uh, that's all good news. You, of course, won't have some of the analytics and things that are released only on the HANA side, but the web client functionality will be quite similar. So uh, with all of that being said and announced, uh, let's try to uh, take a look here. At, I'll go over to my uh, demo system and uh, I'm already logged in. Hopefully haven't been logged out yet. Nope, there we are. And here's, this is the regular screen now for SAP Business One in version 10. This is the fat client that we're taking a look at. And I'm just going to make sure that uh, you guys are seeing all of that, which you are. And, um, but we want to, you know, specifically kind of take a look at what's different and what the web client looks like. So, um, there are a couple of places inside the screen where you can actually open the web client, like right here, this icon up in the ribbon is the uh, web client icon. So you could open it from there, it would open the browser and that sort of thing. And it's also available, I believe, under administration, yet there it is, web client. But that doesn't really make much sense to me uh, because I wouldn't normally open this client remotely and then open the web client. I would simply want to go to my browser, which I'm doing now, 